if we are short of temper, what is not our friend? This is Lama Jigme Gyatso. Welcome to Meditate Like a Jedi. If we are chronically short of temper, that is not a psychological disorder, but a psychological symptom of a physiological disorder. A, a psychological symptom of systemic inflammation and an unhealthy gut microbiome. If we are short of temper, processed foods are not our friends. If we wish to be peaceful and resourceful, we must choose whole grains served like rice rather than ground into breads or pastas. If we wish to be peaceful and resourceful, we must choose olives and seeds and nuts served whole rather than ground into oil. For any oil within hours after consumption will create an epithelial insult as it inflames the linings of our arteries. Refraining from cooking in oil, instead saute in water, or poach, or steam, or bake, or instant pot. If we are short of temper, animal products are not our friends for their consumption. Even if grass-fed and free-range is always followed by inflammation. Any animal-based dairy product now has its plant-based counterpart, lower in inflammation but equivalent in flavor. And salt, though t tasty and addictive, does much more harm than good raising both our blood pressure as well as our hackles. If we are short of temper, neither caffeine nor refined sugar will enhance our calm. Whereas fruit, fresh and juicy and whole and delicious, could every sweet tooth satisfy. If we are short of temper, living in defiance of our circadian rhythms will not help. For we evolved mechanisms that are in sync with the rising and setting of the sun. And our bodies are their most resilient when we are early to bed and early to rise. And when we breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, and sup like a pauper. And when we take brisk walks and exert ourselves daily and exercise safe and sustainable. If we are short of temper, we must grow mindful of our triggers, unencumbered by self-condemnation our defensiveness and recognize our triggers and that we might avoid them when we can and when we cannot avoid them and can feel our aggression building excuse ourselves and perform walking meditation marrying the silence and mental recitations of this and yes with every inhalation and every exhalation respectively and dance with them as they spontaneously make their presence felt as they somersault across the stage of our mind during our formal seated meditations performed every morning and every evening for neither our relationships nor our blood vessels can endure 
our rage. And none of us wishes to drive away our loved ones, no less suffer from stroke or heart attack. Come, let us train in the Buddha's contemplation and compassion that we, like Yoda, might meditate like a Jedi.